are listening to Hoodcast AF, the bad boys of action figure podcasting. Join Jonathan Fallen, Mike TV, and Cobra Dad as they shit talk some action figure related shit. Be warned that the ideas and opinions expressed are nothing more than entertainment. So fuck off and enjoy. enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. enjoy. Hoodcast begins. Now. That's right. It's Hoodcast. <laughs> we're so we're so full of our own shit. We're top stars. We finally did the no introduction beginning correct. Yeah, we, we don't even need an intro. Super the intro producer Jonathan is, Fallen is dead, dude. It's fucking dead. Let's yeah. just It's get finally into dead. It. Man, you know, I'm just, I'm lazy, dude. I'm sitting here. I got my Walmart Waffle House logo fucking slippers on because they're cheap. You know, they're fucking dope, though. You know, I use them as house slippers. Yeah. It's just like I like my, you know, like like I like my Waffle House. I like it cheap with a homeless person in the bathroom. That, that's how I like it, dude. Fucking yeah. cleaning up meth. There's not even like Waffle Houses out here, but our Walmart has Waffle House slippers. I fucking love Waffle House, dude. Yep. <laughs> What the uh, well, fuck is Waffle House? You never heard Waffle of a House, Waffle House because you've never been out of California, dude. Waffle Whoa. House, bro. It's like bigger than IHOP, dude. It's it's Waffle House. It's it's hole in the wall. It's everywhere but here. And and the waffles yeah. are fucking delicious, dude. I don't give a fuck. I love them. They're you, fucking huge, too. They're, they're thin, really thin in a lot of squares. A lot of squares, they're, man. They're, yeah, they're crispy as fuck. Huh. No, they ain't crispy, dude. They're kind of limp. I don't know, dude. I've never had fucked up chicken and waffles from the real Waffle House out here. It's always been a nice, crispy waffle and chicken. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, chicken and waffles. That's like Texas style. I want to introduce our guest straight from Highly Posable Podcast, which is on YouTube on Friday nights. We got Steam Powered Mum. What up? Thanks for having me, boys. Yes, dude. Finally on the podcast, dude. And finally, and, finally, and, I'm blessed. Thank you. <laughs> do me a favor. Don't fall asleep on our podcast. That won't. <laughs> do we got them right away. Oh, 4 a.m. to 4 p.m., dude. This motherfucking podcast don't start till 10, so it's like, dude. By the time that motherfucker's almost wrapping up, I've been up 22 hours. I tried, oh, yeah. I tried getting them to move it to Saturdays, but they they can't. So. And you got a full day of podcasting like after work today because you got to go on a highly posable tonight, right? Yeah, right after right after this one, I got to go on highly posable. Well, shit, man, yep. you went to like PowerCon, right? Yeah. Right, last weekend. Yep, dude. That like so. And what I see from the pictures, and I'm I'm not looking at the figures right now. I'm looking at like the auditorium kind of. And to me, it, it it looks. I thought PowerCon was like huge. It's like big, you know. And, and it looked kind of. It, it actually this year this year it was pretty big. I would say it was comparable to uh, New York New York City Comic Con. But you had like right. new people there. Like you had uh, Bobby Valla and Valaverse. That's there. that's what I was. Yeah, that's what I was meaning by that. Like everybody, but SH Figures, pretty much. You know what I mean? You had NECA. You had uh, all the all the third the third parties that are starting up, like Premium DNA. that are doing the Mad Balls and the uh, the uh, the yard, Barnyard Animals and the Earthworm Jim stuff. I wonder what about the Savage Crucibles, dude? That that. That toy line is going to be pretty damn cool, man. Um, I don't know if you guys have any... Well, I've seen John's got some Mythic Legions. I'm not sure if you do, Mikey. I don't know if Cobra Dad does, but um, it's it's similar to them in the, you know, the medieval medieval theme shit. Um, what's the background? There's lot, what's yeah, there's a lot more articulation to these ones. Um, what's and the I would say the sculpts are more detailed, more lifelike. Uh, it's like Frazetta style, right? They they got the license for the Frazetta uh, Conan yeah. figures, so yes, yeah. they're going to be doing them. I think the dude, Death Dealer. That um, fucking Conan, dude. When I see that, in person, the painted, the painted, the painted sample in person was like, like I wanted to pick it up, but they would have got mad, right? Obviously, they got mad. Yeah, it dude, was like you, you literally had me fucking glued to the fucking Instagram more than the fucking San Diego Comic Con. Because all the shit you're taking pictures of, this is shit that like me and Fallen don't ever talk about. Like Cobra doesn't talk about, like because we don't really know about it. And I'm like looking at all your covers, I was like, 
Oh, we need this motherfucker on the show, dude. He needs to just. Yeah, dude. Like, uh, next week or next year, we're gonna do a full weekend. This year, we only did one day. It was Friday. We went. My son, my son, and I can only go for Friday, so we went Friday. And my son was getting bored. It was a five-hour drive, so my son drove the whole way. We waited in line for two hours to get our registration. Was I already bought my tickets, so I had to get my our wristbands and our little tickets yeah. for our pre- pre-ordered figures. Um, that was like a two hour wait. And then we waited another two hours to get in the convention. Wow. And then we got in line for toys for another hour and a half. So it was like a five hour, 10, ten hour, 10 and a half hour deal until we got the figures or so whatever we were looking for. I've seen PowerCon coverage before. And, and what PowerCon always screamed to me was kind of like, like He-Man and fucking, yeah. um, you know, more That's- medieval fantasy type of like convention. <clears throat> Is that what it is? That's actually what it was. Yeah, yeah. It's it's more it's more of a power. It's like a he he man convention is like a power con is based on he man pretty much. It started as a he man convention, but like this year was the first year that like NECA and all them were there in person. So, um, they had people there selling the stuff, but they were actually there showing off stuff. Uh, so it's gotten a lot bigger. Um, there's more people going to it that aren't really he man esque fans. Like they might be familiar with he-man but they not, might not necessarily collect he-man yeah. like uh for instance three quarters of the three three quarters of the line that i was in waiting to get in the the actual power con went straight to the four horsemen line so they were there for four horsemen toys they weren't there for he-man per se yeah but they did do two he-man tribute figures four horsemen did so that they might have been were, he-man he-man fans i don't know but they do what whiplash and many faces yeah the whiplash and many faces i don't have them in here they're dope as shit though man yeah. wow. uh one of our homies that listens to the show uh, tony toy box shout out tony toy he yep. got the whiplash figure and he he's, it, he's showing me pictures of it that fucker is huge it's heavy dude yes yeah. it's about 10 inches tall um well it's like 10 inches tall and maybe about eight inches with the tail yeah. in the back um so it's a pretty big figure uh, it was only 80 dollars I see um, Cobra elevating in that screen there because you said He-Man. Cobra, man, Cobra is like, out of all of us, is probably like the biggest Motu dude. And I see yeah, he's, I he's like, he, this is Cobra. This is the convention Cobra needs to go to. Yeah. Dude, they had that uh, Super 7 uh, Thundercat layer there too. The, oh, my God. That, bro, shit was crazy. When you How massive was that thing? When you go to Power 650 Con. 650 bucks it was on a big pedestal so it was about it was six foot about six foot off the ground uh yeah. i'd say if it was on the ground it was maybe about three and a half feet tall God damn. like i've been to some big conventions but not like big name conventions like a PowerCon, i think is growing to be one of those big name conventions and i mean people fly out for it you know so definitely people people went there just for like exclusive figures you know it's like it's crazy Do you where was it at this year it's always in Columbus, Ohio, in the uh, convention center in Columbus, Ohio. There was actually an anime convention going on at the same time, so there was a bunch of bunch of people dressed up in anime costumes. Is that where like the you know the the known Yiffy fight happened? I, I think it was in the news. Some people yeah. fucking dressed up in cuddly fucking uh, furry shit, and then they they beat down some Yiffy dude. fight. <laughs> uh, they, it might be, dude. I I didn't hear about that, but yeah, I could see it. I could definitely see it. Um, but yeah, there was uh, no one, like no one was really like they were keeping to their side. We were keeping to our side. Um, <laughs> Here's 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 a uh, thing like you you had posted like a video or pictures of uh, like all these figures that they normally sell on 5K toys and I thought like they were made by a different company but it was like Energon or, or some I forget what the ne- Neogen Neogen toys Neogen um, yeah and I never yeah. seen that name before and I didn't know they made you know like all the the furry planet ones and then like a bunch and of the eight or the gorillas yeah they make they make a right like yeah a bunch of different stuff so like uh um people are calling the street sharks i don't think they look like street sharks but the humanoid shark creatures i love uh, those i, I yeah. pre-ordered those they, yeah. they're doing that line and they're doing another line of like fish warriors one looks like the uh dead sea fish or whatever that yeah the uh uh what the hell angler fish angler. one looks like the angler fish one looks like the swordfish has the big long beak uh mouth um and then they're doing uh some it was like some some just soldier that was the was the debut figure for the power con um they are doing uh 
What is it? The battle uh, the, the 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 cowboy and the horse. What the hell is the name of that? Ramen toys. No, that's ramen toys. Ramen toys. They make, ramen they toys make some ramen minotaurs toys. too, huh? Yeah, ramen toys started doing. They had some He-Man sculpts there. Mask. Too. Yeah, they're doing the mask. Yeah, they did some. They had some He-Man stuff. I think they're seven inch, uh, seven inch figures. Um, they did uh, mask. They had the masks, like the vehicles and all that shit on pre-order. Nice uh, then there's a dude there had Dino Riders. I don't remember the name of that company either, but he had Dino. They're doing Dino Riders and oh, shit. Oh shit! Dino Riders are coming back. Fucking yeah, bro, it was pretty dope. One eighteen scale, <laughs> there's, there's, like a one eighteen scale. There's a company I think that I'm not sure if they were at PowerCon. Uh, the Earthworm Jim figures. That was Premium DNA. That's the, okay. So Premium Premium DNA is the company that was founded by the guy who Megalopolis. ran Megalopolis. It's yeah, just, yeah, we, 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 we took everybody's money and basically started Premium DNA. It's not technically uh, him. It's his brother did Premium DNA. So yeah, it's not yeah. They're kind of yeah. yeah. well. That's the same thing as like people go bankrupt and they start a business the same day in their wife's <laughs> name, you know, type yeah. shit. But that's neither here nor there. Anyways, the the, the guys uh -huh. affiliated, go on, the, the guys affiliated with them and uh, took took everybody's money and started that company and basically is selling the figures and people are like sour about it right because so people, people bought the shit out of those barnyard commandos well, yeah that well that too okay so people had all that pre-ordered on his website okay so yeah. i had all that stuff pre-ordered and then he folded and put all that money towards that company which his brother owns or whatever and uh yeah. so basically yeah like so people are like cause, and a lot of people like straight up lost money you know lost he, money he basically so that, did what money. he did we exactly what uh jeff beckett jr did for shocker toys yeah. he just fucking took money from pre-orders started his own company and then sold the figures he wanted but then still took hella more pre-orders and fucking yeah because yeah, people are suing people are suing megalopolis they're not suing dude directly you know yeah yeah what Our discount code that? still works at Megapolis. Use code HOOD for 20% <laughs> off of Megapolis. <laughs> I don't even know if the site's uh -huh. still up anymore, but it might be. <laughs> That's funny. Dude, I remember we were talking about them a long time ago because we have shit on those barnyard commandos so hard over like the past months or so. I own one of the the, the mad balls. I bought Oculus because I'm a fan of Oculus and those mad ball head poppers. Cause I had the original, yeah. I just sold it for like 200 bucks, the original head popper Oculus. But I, you know, I wanted another one and that one's pretty hit huge yeah. and all these toy stores, you know, they buy a set and then don't sell any of them cause people don't fucking buy them. But I bought one. Yeah. Dude had those, bo you know, them Boglins. Dude yeah. had those there for dirt cheap, I'm selling yeah. those for like twenty bucks, I think. Because no, one, no one's buying that shit. I loved those when I was a kid, but I, I didn't buy too. one. I, yeah. I actually do own one <clears throat> Boglin that I found at Walmart at one time. You know, so I still got one. And it, you got the what like, Captain Spaulding one, don't you? Uh, yeah, it's like the clown mm -hmm. one or whatever. I don't yeah. know his nice. fucking name. Made me think I was a ventriloquist when I was a kid and shit. I was like, I was acting like I was talking and shit. <laughs> hey, we're going to get into the news. We're going to cover a lot more shit from PowerCon. But I need to touch on the last episode of Hoodcast AF entitled uh, Darth Sex Offender because we got like some huge, <laughs> huge blowback uh -huh. from that. Within, Ooh, and that's oh where, yeah. dude, all we did was play news clips of like the, the pedophiles who are in the Star Wars community. And look. Yeah. We made a couple little jokes, you know, here and there. And, uh, you know, I, I look, I'm going to go in depth on this on the after show. So but I just want to point out the people who are mad about the jokes that we did. Like, y'all people don't act like you never heard a Michael Jackson joke and laughed at it. Or you listen to Jimble Kimball and fucking laughed about a, a you know, a Catholic church joke. Dude, those are all pedo jokes. What the fuck? Like, just because we make Telescope a Star Wars and lightsaber, joke, bro. That's all it is. Telescope and lightsaber, Look, bro. We're, we're not making fun of the victims here. We're making fun of... And the one guy, they have, like, the Luke transcript... Skywalker. The transcript is public, bro. Meaning, <laughs> me and you could look up what he texted Dude. the kid, bro, And look, and I'm saying... what he said. So... In the Dianoga Trash Talk group, it's a Star Wars group on Facebook or whatever. Like, look, I kind of trolled them and I post the, the episode there. 
and people hated it. Fine, I get that. You don't like the but humor. But they listened to it. No, but a lot of them were best friends with this dude. And they fucking turned, you know, like, well, they hated the, the episode and stuff. They all listened to it. And that's the why I did it. But, like, eventually, like, uh, well, a lot of people said, oh, he he is do justice. We have to wait and see. Da, da, da. He deserves the benefit and of the doubt. And then when yeah. that after David came He's out with all the evidence and all the shit that dude did, people started turning and going, this yeah. dude's fucked up. Nothing's good, you know. See, but, you caused, you know what you caused? You fucking caused the Trump situation in the Star Wars fucking fandom group, dude. Like, when mm. Trump ran for president and every family started fighting each other, like, that's what you did, man. You, you, you fucking sounded freedom, and they didn't like it. Look, we'll go in depth on this on the after show, which you can get on Patreon. So, and it's only $3 a month, man. There's tons of shows on there for uh, our Patreon. But with that, dude, let's get into fucking some news, which includes Paraclon news. Yeah. Doctor Killamoth, the evil alien who wants to pollute the whole world. Triceratops with motorized walking action. Good news, everyone. The figures in Battle Gear each sold separately. That's right. Uh, we're back with some Paracon news. So. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just fucking, uh, get into it. This week in the news. That's right. First up, Four Horsemen with the uh, Cosmic Legions. So they had the, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this right, Ox Cream Book One Thraxen. Is that correct? Osteoposter. I, I yes. Know. The, uh, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce any of the shit either, dude. It's, it's weird. Outpost Ziaxis. Yes. Is it? Well, yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> it's it's, ha it's ha Havoc Cure Book 1. I think it's how you pronounce it. Havoc Cure is the first wave. Okay. And then Thraxen was the fourth wave they announced on Saturday when they showed it on uh, Friday night. They actually announced it, but they showed them on Saturday. The Thraxens okay. are like the other alien group. Like they battle or something. The the, the Thraxen, I think, is a is a group of it's like a a mercenary group, I believe. Yeah. So there's a scout. There's uh, the Viblian named Uka. Uh, I don't know. Uh, and I, I there's there's a yeah, dude. I, I gave up on the names. I gave up on the names. <laughs> there's the, like who comes up with this shit? Like <laughs> fuck. There's uh, a demolitions expert named what the fuck is his name uh demolition specialist ovar orvar uh a navigator uh vulva spear oh that's terrific mulva <laughs> and a pilot <laughs> <laughs> and a pilot uh veloc spear um and then there's uh, yeah, yeah, something yeah. called Scape Back. I think that's like the beast or something. That like weird. Dog. That, I think that's what they're trying to. Okay, so they have horses in the Mythic Legion. I think they're trying to introduce something that people they can they can have characters riding maybe. Space horses. Space mounts. They call them space mounts. Uh, yeah. Uh, it kind of looks like everyone thought it would be a... Lord of the Ring wargs or something. Like I guess you. Can it's ride a them. weird looking one. This this wave definitely has some strange looking shit in it. The thing I'll tell I really you the, like, the, the uh, 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 Kirin Ray, the thing with the steam powered a, fucking thing, helmet, like that shit is dope. That's exactly that's exactly what I was gonna say. That one's probably the standout one for me. Then Orivar, the the alien with the green head and the orange suit, is the second best in the wave. They got me. that dog looking the, thing too, but I was like, yeah. But I think I don't know, man. That Zuran Ray figure did. It, they they went all out, man. She got soft goods. She got a big ass helmet. Yeah, it like, definitely looks the part. And I don't know why everybody else they kind of to me it looked like they kind of just were like, well, we did a lot on this one. It actually looks more the rest of this shit. It looks more steampunk like Star Wars to me, yeah. and it, it's it's different from the rest of the wave, you know, because the rest of the wave is, is pretty colorful it, and stuff, and she's more well, yeah rustic. <clears throat> My my issue with the with the rest of the wave is there's three figures that are pretty much identical. I mean, you get a female, you get the male, and then you get the shorter alien all in the same spacesuit. But it's like too much of the same in this wave. If that makes sense. Yeah. Like if they would have done 
two in this one and one different one and another one, it would have broke it up more and it would have been a little bit be uh, better. But they do have a lot of variety with the different aliens and the different yeah. parts. Uh, but that was my only gripe, really, is that they they put out a lot of the same, a lot of re like reuse, reuse the same parts like right away type situation. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, but the 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 Kern Ray figure has like the helmet that looks kind of like the uh, space space yeah. space something. But here's my question. I don't know if he's still here. His computer might have kicked him off because he's talking right. about space stuff and aliens, you know, listen to this podcast. They're watching you. Yeah. yeah, here's the deal, people. This steam-powered monk, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Do you need to go song? But, I come from outer space, monkey away for blood. <laughs> my, my question. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, people. This steam-powered dumb mum, mum, whatever the fuck his name is, his computer froze because of alienoid uh, humanoids who live among us. Who we are. There he goes. Yeah, it's frozen up. Like I'm having connect. I'm having connection issues. That's why I started out on my phone. Uh, but then this, this, though. it was aliens. I was getting abducted. Yeah. Here's my yeah. question though. Like you own the first wave of the the Cosmic Legions or some of them? No, I I actually passed on that because I didn't want to start collecting a whole bunch of different stuff. I did too. Uh, like, but then. That. But the, well, then I see them in hand and everything. And then I picked up the uh, the exclusives, and I got that um, the Sentry. I don't have, of course, I don't have any of them in here. Uh, but I started painting a lot of them too, so they're torn apart. Yeah. Uh, but I bought I bought a couple, and now I'm glad I didn't buy all of them. But there's a couple that I really want to get now. Um, so I'm gonna be very selective, but I'm gonna start collecting them. Yeah. Here's my question, and maybe you know from the other highly posable dudes. Um, for that, the Cosmic Legions, are they like the Mythic Legions where you can take pieces of their armor off and put it like interchangeable type of deal? Or is that kind of mm -hmm. lacking on there? Because to me, it looks like no, it's lacking. Uh, well, the, the, there's, a, there's an issue with the torso. Um, the torso has a, has a uh, instead of going flat like this and connecting like this, there's kind of a swoop up in the back. And where it, where it swoops up in the back, when it goes on the ball peg, it kind of just pops off when you, like, twist it and articulate it. Oh, but yeah. you can customize um, it and dremel it and make it work if you wanted to. But you yeah, kind of ruin if a figure. You wanted to take green, well, if you wanted to take, like, green stuff and, and make a, a little extra something. But <laughs> yeah. when, they come fact, when they come factory together, they pretty much stay. But once you pop them apart to put like different parts together to make a different figure, a custom figure, that's when you run into issues with the fitment. Hmm, like the yeah. shit don't pop. They don't seat like how it's supposed to. Like the factory's like must get it real hot and just like seats it yeah. on there. Yeah. Um, but then like, yeah, I think it's the design of that back, how it swoops up like that. It's causing a lot of people to have issues with it, like flopping off and shit. Is that a new like, design just, or are they like incorporating that into the new mythic legions or is this? It no, this is yeah. This is an all new torso. All these parts for for the cosmic legions are all new. And like you're asking, um, yes, you can mix and mesh the mythic legions parts with the the cosmic legions. So say there's a part of armor that you really like for mythic legions, and you want to incorporate it into cosmic legions. Yeah, you can fit it because all of it fits together. You can put wings on uh, that motherfucker. Yes. Oh, yep. that's dope. People, what people are doing right now with it is they're mixing mythic legion parts. And Cosmic Legion parts and making Battle Beasts. You remember Battle Beasts from the 80s? Yeah, I remember those when I was young. Yeah, the hologram yeah so like they're doing, yeah, yeah, like so I think three or four people have made them so far and they're all like pretty dope, dude. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And they're like, make, they're, they're making them with both parts, the uh, Mythic Legion heads and arms and okay. Cosmic Legion armor uh, to give it that like bulky Battle Beasts armor look. Yeah, I know uh, probably certain listeners are juicing their pants because we're talking in depth about Mythic Legions and PowerCon and stuff because <laughs> <laughs> we don't normally do it. But uh, yeah, never. Yeah. We, we did it with Vile. Now we got him. We have Steam on. I'm like, we're almost a fucking uh, ex. We got we got our expert. We'll be experts next. Our yeah. Mythic experts. Yeah. Let's yeah. move on to uh, the next, which would be Mondo. So Mondo had a lot to show off. Holy shit! Uh, you know, so expensive but nice. It's worth. I'd say it's worth its weight. It's basically, like, like if it. you want the whole like X Men animated series, they got it because they showed off yeah. Rogue, Cyclops, like you, dude. 
like any like i don't i'm, I'm not gonna be a big collector of one six scale but especially from mondo dude I, i've never held yeah. one or owned one but i've seen a lot of issues with paint and shit rubbing off but still they still look cool they're yeah. pretty pricey but still yeah x-men you know 97 or whatever the animated series like it, it yeah. looks really fucking awesome um they also they got showed a off fast or two too man right they also showed off some of their Spider-Man animated series. Um, so. so they had Spider-Man himself. And then these are all renderings. And then they showed off uh, like a Spider-Man in the black suit with the uh, symbiote like kind of coming off him, which looked kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, they had a bunch of He-Man stuff, of course, like they always do. Um, That's the bread and butter, man. That's the original mm -hmm. fucking thing they dropped. Right. Dude, Skeletor and Beastman in person? It's crazy. Uh, I wonder how many like Mondo collectors there are out there who are buying this stuff. It just seems like it's something that you only it's, display and that's it. It's kind of like a hot toy, well, you know. Well, there's a lot of people that buy them statues too. You know them them fucking quarter yeah. bus for like five thousand dollars and shit. Yeah, and I, and I call like, those. What are you, you going to do with that? <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do with that, man? Fucking statues. I hate fucking statues. They. Might I don't know, dude. That. Like I, I, I told my son, dude, and I was like, if I ever end up buying a fucking statue, dude, beat me to death with it. It's clear <laughs> I lost my fucking mind in collecting. There's so Wait, you don't collect McFar You don't collect McFarlands anymore. Uh, Talking about buying me. statues, buying statues. But look, old oh, school yeah. like horror McFarland, like old movie maniacs, not like the new shit. Like it's still cool because nobody makes those horror s figures you know so yeah i'll pick them up at a la polga you know here and there and yeah. it, they're good for customs too man I, I use a lot of mcfarland for customs I'm not talking about the I dc stuff but i used to collect the tortured souls line from back in the day yeah yeah they're like fun. those are cool like the twisted land of oz too like yeah. he did some really cool shit man yeah like, dude i got the fucking tortured souls dude because i wanted more cenobites from my hellraiser I got fucking all those, dude. Those figures, that was like two years of hunting to get that whole fucking set, dude. That should, man, I love those. Yeah, he should bring those back. Also with Mondo, they shut off their Mask of the Phantasm, which was the Batman animated yeah. movie. That Dick. Oh, excuse me. That only took off after it was, you know, on uh, VHS. So, which was a really it's cool movie. classic. Yeah, absolutely. Family. It still holds up, man. It's a really good Batman movie. It is. Joker's you know, you know there's, there's, there's a Mandela effect with that movie, too. What's that about? The Mandela effect. You know what that is, right? Yeah, I know yeah. what that is, but mm -hmm. I'm saying what they, is it? Though? They say that, that there's a scene in the... I remember it as a, where, the, where he pushes the Joker and he gets electrocuted. And then... And now there's it's a different scene. I mean, there could have hmm. been edits later. I don't know, but like yeah, I don't might remember. Have. I don't actually don't remember that scene, but I do remember the scene where Joker is chopping in the House of the Future, and he's singing "Chopping Broccoli, Chopping Broccoli." Yeah. That happened, yeah. right? I, I believe so. I'm just saying yeah. when Robin when Robin <laughs> when Robin <laughs> freaks Nothing. out and pushes the Joker. Thanks. It's been a good night. Yeah, here all week. I mean, it's on Max. You can watch it tonight on Max. It's on there now. You can, yeah, man. You can find out. I have Don't it on VHS. I'm like, now I'm thinking, I'm like, I think he did push Joker in an electric fence or some shit. Yeah. Or the third rail. No, no, no. He's in, that's in where, where he has the, where he's chopping the broccoli and shit. And he's like, oh, honey, go get, go get Junior. And then, and then he allegedly he raised out. And, and he, he pushed them him. into the fucking like some like electric panel or some yeah. shit. But now it, he shoots them. No, I think the, it was no, wasn't it the narrator who said, "Don't whiz on the electric fence." <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. I don't know. That's a good movie though. Like a good. I've never movie. seen it. Never seen it. It's on HBO. It's a great Max movie. Do yourself a favor, bro. I don't watch yeah, cartoons, dude. but. You know, I want a animated one. series isn't a cartoon, dude. It's a fucking yeah, I no. Say so I watch the old school animated series Batman, and then the I, movie I used to watch. It. 
I used to watch the series, but I never watched the Phantasm. I don't know why I've never watched the movie. It's good, yeah. man. It's 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 reminiscent of that old time, and it came out during that old time, so yeah, it, it's relevant. It's animated just like the animated series. And then they had the sequel of uh, Sub Zero and Mister Freeze, and that one was really good. After that that's shit. good too. Good yeah, stuff. good stuff. Uh, Anyways, well, next up, Ramen Toys. So, like we said, they shut off their yeah. uh, He-Man yeah, and Flavor, Skeletor Flavor. sculpts, Flavor. which they look really dope as fuck, man. And I don't know how they're getting away with that. You know, what are they going to? That's call not. Them? That's pending. It's pending right now. Okay. Um, they're pending approval, um, and I'm not sure. I think. I think the dude said they're going to name it He-Man and Skeletor. Like they were going to name it because they didn't have the names but on the placards there. But yeah. No, they're waiting for they're waiting for approval. I think dude said. What else did Ramen Toys have there? They had their um... mask. They had the mask. Which uh, the mask, uh, not licensed either. But that's actually in production, I believe, and it's a weird scale, weird fucking scale. It's not six inch, and it's not quite one eighteen. Really? Uh, so what is it like four yeah, inch? It's, like it's not three uh, and three quarter, weird or one. is it smaller than three and three quarter? I think it's smaller, right? It's it's a little bit bigger. It's in between three and three quarter and six inch. Oh really? So it's, it's like maybe bigger. four and a quarter. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's weird. It's a weird it's, it's a weird scale. It won't go with anything else. But what's like the vehicle? The vehicle's too big for a GI Joe, a three and three quarter, and then it's too small for a six inch like Mezco. You know? Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm out on the weird scale stuff unless it's really really nostalgic, which that is. But no, I'm I loved Mask. I really loved Mask. If it was more of the original size, I probably would get it. I would be all yeah. in. Or if it was a six inch, then I'd definitely be all in. But this whole weird scale shit is fucked. The ramen toys have anything they had else? The, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, they had the brave, the brave star. They had the brave star period, yes. which is the cowboy, the cowboy and the big horse. The That's big the horse was shown. One, yeah. The pro, the prototype. Uh, they called it three A. I forget the damn horse's name. Bravo. Uh, so I forget the horse's name. Could be close. But yeah. the big horse companion, the big horse companion was there displayed. It looked real dope. Had nice articulation for a bigger figure. Uh, yeah. It was eight. It was eighty dollars, yeah. and it was. Uh, I think it was. It's not bad. It was free shipping if you ordered from them, like right from their booth. You got a lot of shit, like free shipping and like ten dollars off or some shit like that. That's cool. I've never been to a con where I ordered from a booth, man. Yeah. You know, and that's all like San Diego Comic Con, yeah, shit like a that. Pre order, yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. It's kind of comparable to a, a New York City Comic Con or something, where you see like prototypes and like uh, stuff that's not even available yet. And I don't yeah. know. It's crazy. Uh, next up, Valiverse. So it's their first time at PowerCon, and they finally announced their. Uh, well, they already announced their vehicle. The Vanguard was going to be made, but now they're going to announce the price. Which it's one eighty four ninety nine, which is not bad for yeah, yeah. what you, you get. Know, that's not these bad. action force figures, right? Valiverse. Yes, Bobby Valla. Like yeah, yeah. yeah, Joe. I don't get down with those, so I didn't even stop by that booth. But so, I heard, I, plus, I heard he was a dick, so I don't know. Well, he hates Super yeah. Seven. He's very opinionated, kind of like Hoodcast is. So I kind of get where he comes from, dude. He's he's an off kilter kind of dude, and then you know we hate Super Seven, but we gladly support Super Seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's doing his own thing. I like uh, some of his figures. I don't, you know, I don't get into all of them. I, I think they're kind of wonky and, and they look a little weird sometimes. But certain ones do look cool. Um, Didn't he do uh, Sergeant Slaughter before fucking the the Hasbro Sergeant Slaughter? Yeah, and I have I have the Sergeant Slaughters. Those are really dope figures. Um, yeah. But uh, I swear yeah. I've seen that he was doing like corpse figures, like ones that kind of look like those old generic GI Joes from Walmart called the Corpse. Um, they some of them are reminiscent of that. Like he has a lot of figures based off like celebrities yeah. and shows and stuff, and it's it's not that, but it's close to that, you know. Um, but he did have like some exclusives and stuff, like the Crimson Shadow Technologies, which is the Praetorian, which he's kind of like a Snake Eyes looking dude with weird red powers. Okay. It looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the Vanguard, twenty inches long. It's you know a big ass car for your six and a half inch figures or six inch figures um yeah he also had the what is it the exclusive swarm horde which was there at the show those look the red cool. and black one it did look dope it looked dope it it looks like with wings yeah with wings and shit yeah and yeah I, the whole yeah i know a lot of joe collectors do collect these and put them with their joes i don't think they match up right the scale is there but like they got a better looking zarana than fucking 
Zarana, dude. The thing I don't like about the Valiverse <laughs> figures is the paint apps like aren't they're, they're almost the paint app is all almost hollow. It looks like it's hollow to me. Like the the it's not colored right to me. Like it's it's bland. You know, nothing pops to me on the figure. I don't know. Like maybe it's it's just me looking at it, you know. And I'm a fucking artist. You I, mean like I, a soft, like a like a soft flesh tone, kind of like Mesco's. Kinda, like yeah. You know how like um, what's his name? Who's the magic user that you bought, dude? Like the the DC dude. Like sometimes Mesco's has that flesh tone that's almost see through, and I don't oh. like that, dude. I think that that they just use yeah. the plastic color rather than you know having a paint app and it it, it looks weird to me man it did well, yeah i mean they're they i have to agree there because like even the bruce wayne heads and like the steve rogers head looks they look super faint like that's just the color of the plastic we added eyes well yeah and, and i get it like <laughs> valiverse tries to keep their figures and they, they even lowered the price of their figures you know trying to combat everyone else saying like oh Fuck Marvel Legends and all these other it's companies. Like We're cheaper, lowering dude. our price. You know, a dollar. Hey, more power to you. Uh, then you add shipping, and then you end up paying back that dollar because the shipping costs more. <laughs> 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 uh, next up, because you didn't buy a hundred dollars. <laughs> shitty Marvel Legends. They just give you nothing. They you uh, they Marvel. were not at PowerCon, but they did uh, show off a. Uh, shield agent in Hydra Trooper Trooper two pack female edition. Yeah, yes, yeah. and I'm sure it's like five hundred dollars, and you only get <laughs> two women and like maybe a gun or something and uh, replaceable. I, I know you I'm, get replaceable I'm, heads, but I'm sure like any female figures that they make that are related to like Shield agents, it'll warm up on store shelves and pegs. Because it looks like the head they shit. use for like one of the women looks like the same one that they put on the G.I. Joe uh, Dragonfly copter like for one of the women. It looks almost Maybe identical did, to me, dude. Like, I don't know. But They're still... Like, we're doing such a great job with G.I. Joe. Let's drop some heads in there. I'm so out on Marvel Legends, and I know I say that all the time, but the shit that they're putting out now and giving you less of fucking everything and charging you more, yeah. and I get it, dude inflation everything people got to make more money but you're a big time company and you have to make yeah. more money because you have to pay everyone that you well, yeah. they have to make up more money because all their shit that's on disney plus is fucking bombing so they're not making any money disney's like fuck we woke marvel too much so we ain't selling shit it's just not any good anymore like after the whole avengers movie thing there was like pretty much no reason to watch it anymore well yeah Loki Loki was good. They were, marvel oversaturated the market with their movies and then they they switched to shows thinking it would be like a nice slow burn people would still be into it oh, people dude, are hating the fucking shows even more nobody cares. that, was, that <laughs> burned so slow that was like ropey fucking diarrhea burning <laughs> like, i didn't even watch secret wars dude I after Star hawkeye i didn't so. even watch anything i haven't watched any of that shit. loki was pretty uh, good pre yeah off topic the, the Dino Riders, the guy that was there, is Creatures of the Cyberzoic, if you want to talk about that here in a little bit. Oh, okay, uh, Creatures of the yeah, yeah, let's do the uh, Cyberzoic or whatever. Like, that's the fucking yeah. dinosaur shit. The Dino Riders, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Speak on it, homie. Yeah, dude, yeah. I, I don't got it on my list. Oh, you want me to talk? Yeah, I don't got it on my oh, list. Oh, so. oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, so yeah, this dude, this dude already has the line. It's called Creatures of the Mesozoic, and it's like a dinosaur line. So yeah. basically what he did was he created a line of armor uh, that you could put on those dinosaurs that he already made. I mean, he's yeah. making new dinosaurs for this line, but basically the armor attaches to the dinosaurs, and you can buy riders separate. So the riders are separate, the armor is separate, and huh. the armor actually transforms into a... A vehicle of some sort so there's two sets of armor right now and they both transform into like hover tanks okay and you can buy the so basically oh. you don't necessarily you don't necessarily need the dinosaur you can buy the set separate and have like a guy in a, a hover tank and then buy the dinosaur and have the, the actual dino rider so these are those barbarian up. looking dinosaurs correct the dino no the... they're actually just like no oh. the regular they're stand they're standardish looking dinosaurs. They're not oh, like I know uh, there was a one company that was no, no yeah. the same 
we covered a company called uh or like a line called warriors of the sorozoic or something like that yeah where they're like they look more like kid kind of toys but for adult and collectors it must be the same thing but this is uh let's see creative what's the name of the company yeah, it was called something like Warriors of the Sorozoic. Like, yeah. They look like dinosaurs. Create, like creative, creative Beast Studio is the, okay. the person, the company that's making it. Okay. And Dino Riders Reborn. Uh, let's see. Cyberzoic. Uh, it's a Kickstarter that's going to be starting. So the Cyberzoic, the stuff that I'm referring to right now, the armor stuff, is going to start on Kickstarter. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Right, yeah. The, so the Cyberzoic's uh, Kickstarter and the other the other right. stuff must already be out somewhere. I'm gonna call it now, dude. They're gonna end up making Cadillacs and dinosaurs figures soon. Yeah, it's gonna be Nacelli who's gonna buy that next. <laughs> dude, I will buy some Cadillacs and dinosaurs, dude. Why? <laughs> I own some it's original good. figures. <laughs> That show was the shit when I was young. That's why was I it? owned two fucking eighty five Cadillacs. It wasn't that good, dude. It didn't make any oh, sense. Oh, I loved it, dude. They just mobbed around and did ram like G.I. Joe shit and had Cadillacs. Yeah, and you also love Fox's like fucking, you know, hit show Fish Police. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that had uh, John Ritter. Yeah, as the voice of the main cop. I actually liked Fish well, Police. It, it wasn't that bad, dude. Like, I actually liked it, but yeah, they're like, "Fuck this! This shit sucks." Yeah. <laughs> Who thought of Fish Police? Let's fire him. <laughs> Fish Police. <laughs> Let's uh, move on to NECA. And there's not much to cover here because it's not like anything new. But we did. Ninja Turtle sewer layer. We did get the yeah. price of the sewer layer. Which is available now for three fucking weeks, but it's three hundo. Holy fuck! For three three walls and a couch and a you know a fucking turtle fucking. Uh, yeah, that's rug. way overpriced. Bro, two hundred, two hundred, one fifty is perfect, but two hundred, it's a bit, it's a bit of a price, but two hundred is fair. Yeah, one fifty, one fifty is the price point it should be at. Yeah. Point. And you know what they sell their their diorama like the the, the city building or whatever. Yeah, that shit's like twenty. Two hundred bucks or close to it at, at, at like you know. I got resale. I got it at a hundred dollars off Big Bad Toy Store when it was brand new. So I don't yeah. see why that the 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 sewer the sewer dial isn't much more plastic. Actually, it seems like it's less plastic. And plus, like you know, the dial that I have, like it's the normal building one. Dude, the pegs and shit to put shit together fucking suck. They're terrible. Don't try to rearrange it because it's going to fall a fucking part. At least the one I got. So if this sewer layer is anything like that, fuck that. Like, it ain't worth $300. Like, you're fucking out of your mind. Dude, they're, they're seeing fucking Super 7 put out shit for fucking almost 700 They're seeing other companies do it. So like, well, that... Honestly, that... Not? Okay, so... Well, the, the the Super Seven Thundercat layer is six hundred and fifty bucks, but it looks like it's worth six hundred and fifty dollars yeah. because it's like it's like accurate to the cartoon. Like it's if you've seen it in person, you'd be like, "Holy shit!" It's it seems it seems my like a fair is, price because there's a lot of detail and all that. I mean, if, is, if the if the actual products as detailed as what they had on display, if is it only sense, just one? Be, is it only just one room? Or is it like two rooms connected? It's like a turnaround a... castle. It's like a. It's, oh, hold on. You guys like are talking inside. about different yeah. things. You're talking about the sewer Seven layer. Seven Thundercat layer. The, well, the sewer layer yeah. is just three walls. I got back to, I'm sorry. Okay. I jumped around from Thundercats back to Ninja Turtles cartoon. Yeah, we're, like, yeah, we're talking about price points and shit. So yeah, I, I was thinking. The, the yeah, Thunder... I'm just saying it's just the one. Thundercats layer is fairly priced, but the, the sewer layer isn't. And it's just one <laughs> chamber. It's, it's one like chamber. It's not two chambers. It's one well, I chamber. guess I guess the idea is they're gonna buy, they're gonna make different stuff so you connect different chambers. Have like the ah, dojo. Dude, they're that's they're gonna do like a connect a connected place that is uh, is what the idea is. Here's what's building here's, that shit. That here's they what their idea Comic-Con is. Dude. They go look. There's Star Wars tax. Like Star Wars fans will buy anything. We can just raise turtle the price. Tax. And turtle then tax. there's there <laughs> is completest of Toon <laughs> Turtles for NECA. We can get those people who are completists on Toon Turtles, and we know like 300 is not going to sell to everyone, but those Toon Turtle completists, they're going to yeah. buy this shit. Turtle That's all they need. Jack in your toitles. Dude, neck is like, <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, pay me. Fuck you, Absolutely. pay me. Dude, and people Slayers, are. South of heaven. 
<laughs> well, the layer, the the turtle layer is that much. How much do you think a, te- a techno drone will be? Oh shit! Six hundred, six fifty, seven hundred. Well, how much yeah, is that? Would be dope too. How much is the giant Krang android body? You know, like what is that price going to be? Right. That's. I think that's more. You know that price is that's more be. tooling than the fucking uh, you know layer. The layer you can build yourself out of foam core or like you know the the fucking foam you get from Home Depot. You know, it's yeah. not that hard to make. I actually seen a homemade dial that was a lot better. The the homemade turtle layer that was better than the neck one they're offering. Oh yeah, yeah. people have made so. some dope shit and. You know, you use the insulation foam shit, the, the hard stuff, not the, you know, Owens like, Corning shit. Why couldn't well, it people be? People are incorporating three, 3D printed parts, too. So people are putting 3D printed parts in dials, too, and making it super accurate. You know, yeah. why couldn't accurate. it be movie turtle there? Like, I think that would be a better sell for 300 Like, yeah. if it was the... Well, like, the, like the, the, the one from the uh, Ninja Turtles 3, like when they went back in time, when they had... I mean, fucking with that lamp thing. Technically, that's supposed to be the same layer from part two, you know, because the layer from part two is really cool with the stained glass and all that shit. Fuck that! They need to make a stage from part two with vanilla ice as the build a figure. (laughs) Yeah, I'd pay three hundred for that. (laughs) You know, three hundred for vanilla ice and the Go Ninja Rap Dancers. Well, we we talked about um, what is it? Loot Loot Crate, Loot Crate having a vanilla ice figure. Yeah. Because you know how they had like the spirit of splinter and all that shit? Dude, yeah. I'd be down, man. I need an ice oh, figure. Vanilla ice? Hell yeah. I'll get one. Uh, next up, McFarlane! That's right, motherfuckers! Hey, McFarlane, why weren't you at Paracon? I, I had my booth at Paracon. I was just, uh, selling the overstock of McFarlane figures. Well, I wasn't much of a booth because I'm selling that shit right now on uh, What Now? what now it's what not but yeah you know <laughs> whatever it's managed man you got managed managed i got mayonnaise it sits in my fridge because i never use it really unless well, i'm making ranch do. i'll make some fucking ranch and you know that that shit's bomb because you I put horse horseradish in it dude i started because i've been thinking about horseradish i do <laughs> you absolutely. put a little bit of horseradish in your like ranch valley like powder mix this shit's fucking yeah. bomb absolutely horseradish nah you're the ass <laughs> i don't know he had his power con thing i mean there's people buying his figures that wasn't a really great comeback dude i know but let's just let it pass <laughs> yeah. Yeah. all you did was add your okay should i add mom yeah <laughs> well, that would have been a good one. <laughs> uh, I guess we know what gets Cobra off. <laughs> yeah, hell. Oh, yeah. I love me some mom porn, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, well, McFarlane, he had to show off uh, Green Lantern, the DC vs. Vampires version. Uh, a collector edition of, like, a sort of classic Hawkman. Uh, yeah. Final yeah. Crisis, Black Lightning, uh, an affected Batman that's glow in the dark, gold label, of course, uh, and also <laughs> like some leaked images of like an Alfred Batman, which is looks really plain to me, but I, I know it's from the comic books. He's really skinny, and it's like a young Alfred Batman. So what you guys read the comics? Any worth Batman? Whatever. Yeah. Um, but also with McFarlane, he had some new movie maniacs. That are all Jumanji based, not the original Jumanji <laughs> with uh, Jumanji. Yeah. Jumanji. Yeah. Smoldering, bro. Smoldering. Robin Williams. Rock. Now, these are all statues, of course. You know, like so if you buy statues, you're an idiot. But I still might buy the, um, the Ruby because she's fucking hot as shit. I'll use her in like my background kind of porn figuring. Even though you can't pose her, <laughs> but she's missing a belly a belly button, so she's like a fucking alien or something. I don't know. Why is there no <laughs> belly button on her? I don't get that. She was born in a test tube. Hmm. Kind of like your mom. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> wow. Wow, nah, dude. Wait a minute. Cool. That's what she wait said. Wait a minute. <laughs> Our test. Dude. Are test two babies born without belly buttons? Let's ask Wait one. Cobra, please I don't know. Answer. Let me look. Let me look. <laughs> well, I mean, they don't got umbilical. No, I got a belly button. Last, we, asked, 
don't know. I just, I just put a Hold crazy on. thought in my man, mind. They, That's crazy. They don't grow babies, man. They put them in someone's stomach, right? <laughs> they put, yeah, they, I think they implant them into a woman. No, no, you can't call a them womb? woman. You a have, womb. To, you have to I'm call sorry, a, a womb. A, a womb. Person. I said no, no, no. womb. No, no. I said womb, man. Whoa. I said woo, man. Okay, whoa, whoa, <laughs> chill out, man. Whoa, whoa, man. Yeah, no, you have to call him woo, shit, man. Man. The correct I said woom. PC I'm term. Not, I'm not offending nobody. I said woo, man. The PC term is birthing person, okay? Birthing yeah. person. I, yeah, <laughs> Incubator. I, I'm not, my apologies. Egg I don't donor. need to offend anybody. Yeah. Right. Any fans of the Hoodcast. Because you know on Hoodcast, we don't troll anyone. We don't offend anyone. No, not at all, dude. No, no person. It's not like we're going to dress like a Power Ranger and, you know, hang from a toilet or anything. No, because that would be too funny. And we don't go there, sir. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> no, she was hit by a car. I watched the movie. Dragon's Lord. <laughs> uh, next up, 3 0. We just got our fucking Power Ranger card back and uh we're already fucking it up <laughs> hey man so it's not my fault dude i jason david franked it three zero shut off their walking dead rick grimes one six scale and i think they did one before but this is when he's in and is kind of like gray and blacks and yeah he comes with a gun you know a revolver and Why would he uh, a gun? That's crazy. a utility belt because yeah because he always uses a gun in um, a super Crazy long revolver. Yeah, revolver. Right, because you know Revol instead Revolver. Of doing a Negan, revolver. which would sell a lot more fucking figures, they're like, you know what? People want another Rick Grimes. Look, if Three Zero would do more One Twelfth scale and they would do Walking Dead, I might buy a Rick Grimes. I might buy a Negan. Negan you know, I don't. I'm right, I'm buying a Negan. I don't know if Three Zero's ever done any One Twelfth scale, have they? Yeah, they have, That's but true. it's here Rambo. and there, and they they just really don't do it anymore. They just go with the one six scale, and then certain licenses they do one twelve, but hardly yeah. ever. Ever since they became three zero and not three A, they they kind of stopped that shit. Ever, ever since the two dudes split up, there's like some American dude. Well, three zero three zero was around first, and then Ashley Wood needed some toys made, and he went to Kim from three zero, and they they started three A, and then three A defunct, and then he just went back to making three three zero shit. So three zero's actually been around longer. Wow, I, I learned that today, dude. Every, dude, I'm a little bit smarter, and actually, I don't get smarter. I just lose dude, other Kim, information. Kim's really cool. The owner of three zero is real cool. They did they did an interview with him, and he talked about their falling out and how uh, Ashwood just wanted to do weird shit like make fucking dolls, uh, furniture or not furniture, but like uh, accessories, like dolls accessories, like the the purses in real life, one one scale, like raincoats. You wanted to make weird weird shit, dude, like. Stuff that was like deviating from the toys and stuff, dude. You're giving me like the way future. too much information, man. You know too much that I don't know, so I gotta push out looking... other knowledge, dude. I'm gonna end up pissing in the fucking. He was tub looking or into the future, <laughs> making doll clothes and shit. He looked into the future and he was like, you know, even the rappers would wear a, a purse that's one one scale like this doll. Well, he got he got real into the diet word, and they they're like oh, I had fuck. and shit too. So Was yeah, crystal yeah, meth? training <laughs> their young adopted fucking yeah. Yeah, that's weird. too bad, man. Homeless. Yeah. They become an adult and they're man, like kick I, him out. I really liked fucking Diet Word. Not all their tracks, but certain albums I, I loved. And now it's like now I got to separate yeah. the art from the person. This sucks. I still listen to Michael Jackson, yeah. but still, you know. Yeah. I still watch Star Wars, but you know their fans are. Oof. <laughs> I, 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 tell, I tell am it's not. I am a butterfly. Tell I, tell I am a pedophile. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I am a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! If you close your eyes, you almost sound just like her. Yeah, you no Lanti, dude. <laughs> I need no, your Lanti. protection. Tell me, tell me, dude. Protection. Cover that. <laughs> Really no, those videos were weird too. Bro, their, their music videos were real strange too. I love their music uh, videos, man. Fucking yeah, Cookie Thumper you. and shit. Real strange. You mean like Yo, this? he was <laughs> badass <laughs> in that one uh, robot movie though. Chappie. Yeah, Dude, Chappie was a great yeah. movie. I love that Chappie was a, a good movie. A lot of shit cut out of with him in it. Apparently. 
the director. Yeah. Like, I didn't know until, like, like, a couple yeah. months ago. I didn't realize he, he uh, ninja voiced Chappie and shit. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't know, know that. that. Yeah, wow. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that at all. Yeah. Uh, I learned something new. Now I'm shitting right now. Like, I don't know where to shit. Yeah. Spitting, <laughs> spitting all the useless knowledge. <laughs> uh, some real quick news with the Impact TNA toys that were supposed to come out by Asylum. I guess they didn't put out enough production in time f- to be happy with the people who own Impact TNA. Uh, so right. they canceled it. They're looking for an, a new company to make these wrestlers toys like Jordan Grace and shit like that. So, yeah. McFarlane? <laughs> he ain't gonna kill me, motherfucker. McFarlane ain't touching <laughs> wrestling. I make wrestling figures that only have three points for articulations on three the head because you don't need to do shit. I remember my days at the LJN figures that I used to use for my dog, two toys that start slashing them in minutes and horse riders. <laughs> uh, next up. Star Ace Toys. So Star Ace Toys is a one six scale kind of hot toys fucking shit, uh, which yeah. does get licenses because they do, do have a Lord of the Rings license. But now they're doing uh, Rocky shit, like other companies are doing Rocky too. But they got a Clubber Lang, which one six scale. Um, he's there's a deluxe version where you get him in the street clothes and he's got his like fucking scarf. It looks dope as fuck. But the uh, they're going as expensive as Hot Toys because. This Clubber Lang is $259. If you want I, the extra fucking head sculpt and the street clothes, it's $299. So, wow. Pity the fool who buy that shit. They were like $150, $175 range at one time, Star Ace, because I have a couple. I think, don't you have a Star Ace? Um, I might. I might. Because I, I know, know I have a is. Tony Stark from Star Ace, and fuck, dude, that shit was like 100 bucks. Right, but that was just the figure itself and no accessories yeah, and it was a knockoff at that time now they have licensing yeah. and i think they got all those uh independent sculptors that hot toys and sideshow were trying to hire yeah. and all these different companies popped up and yeah. they all went everywhere so yeah they got all the people that they undercut when they fucking had them make the figures for them like star wars like, toys, they had the the best one six scale like yeah. homelander too like they had some good shit yeah, fuck, I'm looking dude. at some Batman. They got they got a bunch of different Batman too, like a uh, samurai fucking ninja Batman. I think pretty yeah. wild. No, Star Ace is legit. <laughs> like I even went to like this high end seller out in like Modesto or whatever. They had a couple different Star Ace toys, like you know, for sale, like with in the mix of all their hot toy sideshows and you know maybe a couple threes three zeros. Yeah. But yeah, I guess the, the you know big come up company now like they they got licensing. Well, props to them, dude. They got the come up. Yeah, and now they're like, dude. Even though like, uh, no, like we're hot not toys, everyone's bitch. gonna buy Clubber Lang, but Rocky collectors are gonna pay the fucking tax for this. Oh shit. fuck yeah, dude. Like if they they do a Rocky, Apollo Creed, Drago, fuck, dude. They, they do the whole goddamn line, dude. Mickey, fucking Polly. They'll make that money. Right down to Tommy Gunn. <laughs> fucking Mickey. Have they ever made a Mick fucking figure? No, they That'd haven't. Be dope. A Mick would be dope. Dude, and I even uh, like... Mesco, I, Mesco, get on it. I spent like... And a butt kiss. I spent about 200 something dollars on a bunch of old school NECA fucking Rocky figures. You know, and like... So I basically paid 50 bucks each for five yeah. figures. But they, you know, they go for $100 each. You know, or yeah. more. Yeah. And... They're dope as fuck, but I don't know why anyone yeah, like in the NECA level or you know that hasn't touched on this shit and remade these figures like in an ultimate line or something. Somebody. Yeah. Like, dude, Rocky's right. still fucking huge. You know. I mean um, the Creed shit still going too, so it's like Rocky's still alive, man. Well, Creed got a bad name because they had like the, the Jonathan Majors dude, like Yeah, that fucked it, up but... MCU, dude. And Disney's like, fuck, fuck it, we're still gonna use him. <laughs> They're like, King was like our guy for the next six movies. Fuck. <laughs> um, also with did Star they Ice Toys. Did him? No, they did not. not. They decided to stick with it. They're not reshooting shit. Yeah. So they're what just going to let it wrong? ride. He beat his wife or girlfriend. Yeah. Allegedly. 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 Just like you know about the, your friends allegedly. Just like all the Star Wars fans, you know, who were best friends with the fucking Kevin Lentz. They, allegedly. Like, he's he's allowed his day in court. I'm like, yeah, he is. But the after David, which has all his text messages and everything else and all his plans to fuck a nine-year-old, 
Yeah, I, I'm kind of like leaning. Yeah, but beating your wife isn't like touching a kid. I mean, it's not. Beats the, beats no, their, uh, yeah, absolutely. Time time. Touching your kid is the double telescoping. I mean, later. come on, you don't tune her up here and there. You know, she's not. She burns the eggs. You're like, yo, back of me <laughs> hand. <laughs> <leg over laughs> here, back uh, of me hand. You haven't, you haven't heard. You haven't heard of the rule of thumb. You, you know, you could beat her with a stick as long as it's not a. Uh, Thicker that, than your thumb. That man. was a real rule, dude. That was no joke. A real rule, yeah. no joke. That was used to be a real yeah. rule, dude. Well, that's a rule in this house, god damn it. <laughs> Look, he's gonna come in. Oh, oh, he's gonna come around. Up. There he is. I haven't he's beat a walking. wife in like a long time. I, see, <laughs> I've never beat my wife. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the chunkla. Right. She got her headphones on right now. <laughs> <laughs> she got her headphones on. I wouldn't be saying nothing. Oh, yeah, she. she uh, she hey, how you doing, baby? It's good to see you. You're looking lovely as ever. <laughs> Hi, Cobra Mina. Please don't beat me through the ski. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> um, also with Star like, Stories, I heard all that shit. They're uh, they're doing some uh, <laughs> vinyl figures too. So they got a a 12 inch state puff from uh, Ghostbusters, of course, and he comes with like extra shit. Like he actually moves a little bit. So it's a 12 inch vinyl figure. I don't know the pricing yet, but that's kind of cool. If you, you know your stars collecting, you need a 12 inch giant state puff. I hope that's. Uh, I wouldn't think it's expensive, a, but if you have like you know some sort of 112 Ghostbusters, whether Mezco or whatever, or even yeah. Hasbro, you would want a big state puff. Well, that's yeah. like really the only way you want a state puff is vinyl. I would think. I don't think you yeah. want any other material. Right. You don't want a plushy. I mean, the the original was what plush. Back in the day when it first came out, it was what a plushie, or was it? It might have been soft plastic. No, it was soft plastic, like the original it was like line. A yeah, blow mold. Yeah, but it was like small, dude. It, would, it went with like the the rest of the toy line, it, you know. Right, it was tiny. Uh, when we were kids, could have sworn it was a larger size. Uh, for me, that's the rest of my notes for the news. Unless you, steam powered mom, you got anything else from PowerCon? No, we covered pretty much everything. I just wanted to add in that uh, the Dino Riders and all that shit, all the extra little bullshit that I added. Sweet. The ramen toys looking fire. Let's move into uh, recent acquisitions. We can hear about what you picked up and how much money you spent. <laughs> I make a discount, girl. You gonna give it to me? Walmart employee, target team member. Give me that shit. Give me your phone number. Call me later when it's in stock, it's yo. Stock, yeah. We got that Casey Raff two pack. Gonna sell it to you out the motherfucking bag. Cause you hood gas for life. Gonna be there. Gonna take it real nice. Recent acquisitions of what we picked up this week. Yo, let's start with our guest, Steam Power Mom. What'd you pick up at PowerCon? No. Nothing. I got the oh, two shit. exclusives. Nothing. Oh, no, shit. Nothing. Oh my god, you didn't pick up anything? <laughs> no. Nope. And you went to PowerCon. I was window licking. <laughs> <laughs> He's plastic sniffing. So what did you pick up? I <laughs> I, I picked up pre order I picked up pre orders for like four different people, so I had seven figures already waiting there before I got there. Uh, but when I when I got there, I picked up five for myself, two more for Eddie. Uh, let's see, two more for Eddie, and then so that was uh, seven, fourteen total. So I had fourteen total yeah. figures. I was carry, carrying around the downtown uh, <laughs> downtown uh, Cincinnati area. You yeah. bring a box or a duffel bag bring... like everyone else. The, actually, the uh, the four horsemen when they put their figures out, they ask if people want the big ass cases that they put the figures in, and I got a couple of those. Sweet. So that worked that worked out pretty good. But uh, yeah, the figures that I picked up, man, the the Demistrios is that that demon looking guy with the green head that's on the actual PowerCon uh, pamphlet this year. He's pretty dope, oh, okay. the demon guy. Yeah. Uh, th then the big the two the two main ones that people were going there to get and flip were the the. Not He Man tributes, but the Whiplash yeah. and the Manny Faces. Um, oh man, yeah, let the, me see the Manny again. Yeah, yeah see, we get to the see Manny Faces. Listeners don't okay, get to yeah, see it, but... 
Oh, they okay. So, but yeah, the Manny faces. I I like the the Whiplash, the green guy. I was expecting to like him a lot more, yeah. but this Manny faces in in person. Dude, the Manny this, faces dope, this, dude. I like that a lot. Uh, yes, dude. Like I honestly, I wasn't I, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about the chrome. Like it's a like a almost like metallic a silver, like a vac metal, yeah. vac, but it's not. Almost, they are making vac metal pieces, but it's yeah, it's it's a shiny, like a shiny uh, silverish, uh, purple and a a blue yeah. and a goldish, orange, but that oh. that green, the green yeah, head that, that came with, yeah, it looks and great. that that metal behind that metal, yeah, you guys are right, that pops hard, yeah, yeah, like in like in person, it's way better, like it's cool in pictures, but like in hand, it's like really nice. I won't ever. I won't add any details or anything to this one. I don't think it's perfect how it is. Pretty yeah, much, the purple and the blue. Normally, normally I like the dirt. Good. Dude, that's such a nice combo. And then there's some silver, too. That's not really on this, but there's uh, over here. So there's this helmeted head, and it has like a silver yeah, silver accents to it. I can't really just can't Yeah, it's got the kind of like the Cyclops purple. helmet looking thing. Yeah. yeah, very cool, yeah. man. Dude, it's super nice. Yeah, so I like this one more than I than I expected. Um, he's actually the one I like more of the two. That always happens uh, when you buy this... a bunch of shit and then like you know the the one figure you never expect to like love the most. You're like, ah, this shit is fucking dope, yeah. though. Jarvis Golfin over yeah. there. Dude. That man, yeah. he faced Jarvis Golfin. He's like, oh, fuck, <laughs> and Cobra, what am I about Cobra's thing is pretty fire, bro. Cobra's in the high end figures now. So, hey, oh yeah, yeah. Me, yeah. yeah, bro, I'm holding. He yeah, joined yeah. the crew, Last dude. Yeah, last year's was Webster and um, Ari Arios, the, or Ari the the bird guy. Yeah. Yeah, these these ones are a lot better than last year's. But then I got this guy and I made this android head for it. Well, that's cool. That's dope. Painted. Oh, you made that, yeah. yeah. It's almost like yeah, Chappie a little that bit. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So this guy just made made a three pack and gave me gave me a three pack. I'm, well, I'm on I'm on the Patreon. I didn't, he didn't give it to me. I paid for the Patreon, but he sent me the three pack of heads and I printed them. And I uh, painted one to match this orange and blue theme here. But, you know, if you orange wanted to be on a good Patreon, there's Hoodcast AF, you know, and <laughs> we offer a lot of shit. $3, for only $3 a month. A month. It's only $3 a month. That's not bad. Right. You know what? I think I'll join that. <laughs> I'm not we telling can, you. We don't I'm have a three pack listeners. of heads for you. <laughs> but we do have three heads that like to talk. <laughs> you pick up anything else? Um, that, uh, let's see. He's going to go for hours. <laughs> Warrior of the Kingdom, and then another, just a, no, another century, which is the plain, a plain old uh, blank one that you're going to paint up. So, yeah. yeah. Nothing, nothing real spectacular there, just a plain old century. Do you consider yourself like a, a good painter? Like, you've been doing it for a long time? I actually just started during the pandemic, so I've been doing about two and a half years, three years now. Okay. Um, I consider myself mediocre. Uh, I do excel in some some areas. Um, what was that? But uh, making it look dirty and weathered. Okay, so like weather, like, kind of like a patina, uh, you know? Yeah, weather. Patinas, yeah, patin patina, or like a oh, like this old robot head. I put like oil drips and shit, like in this little no, spots, looks, like little stuff. That looks yeah, really like good. little subtle, like chipping along the side, just little subtle things, and it's like techniques that I learned. I started out using like a Q-tip to to do it, then I learned how to use a sponge. Yeah, and you use different different tools for different techniques uh for the chipping i actually have a chipping medium where you basically paint the whole piece silver or whatever color you want it to be underneath uh rusty you can do a rusty color and then you paint it paint it like a finished piece like you would want it to to look uh well you have to put actually you put the you paint it silver or the rusty color you put the chipping medium on it then you paint it whatever whatever color you want the finished product to be and then you take some of that chipping medium on like a q-tip and then yeah. you rub it in certain areas and it rubs the paint away and it makes it look like a natural a natural weathered uh chip chipped effect uh, like on our versus stuff. like right. right versus like paint on top of paint this is actually like paint peeling away from paint if that makes more sense yeah uh, it's, it's more of a 3d so like, effect you don't want to do paint, right. paint unless you're doing layers you know and making it look uh you know like skin tone or something like that but yeah, yeah dude right I, right i haven't done much of that you know the you know if i do armor stuff i'm just gonna do some cheap dry brush or something like that but yeah i think my technique is more like skin tone and shit like that i try to like perfect that dude, dry, i'm not yeah, that good dry but, brushing is another one. 
Well, dry brushing, you have to learn that technique for anything. But yeah, you, you got to get that dry brush because that adds a lot of detail. Even if, like, you're a beginner trying to paint shit, do, do a couple it layers brings, yeah, like, dry just, brush. Yeah, simple, simple dry brush brings out mad detail on, like, say, a, a G.I. Joe Classified or a McFarlane or something that they're not they're not going to, like, touch the little details because they're there. There's a bunch of details there. but Dude, especially on the, um, the McFarlane's, man, the details are there. They're just unpainted, man. And that's yeah, I think that's yeah. what they're there for. Like I love painting McFarlane figures because I you don't even have to put it down a base coat. They're so kind of bland and the paint is kind of matte that it for me it works as, you know, just painting over it. I don't have to do a base coat. Unless I want certain things to pop, then I'll, you know, do a lighter coat. But still. Anyways. What? Yeah. Next up. Oh. Cobra. What'd you get? Oh boy, oh motherfucking boy, did I get something oh, amazing. I got the 112 Mesco Wolverine in the oh. metal tin with the motherfucking Sentinel base. Let me ask oh, you, shit. when I delivered uh, that to you, did you get sick afterwards? Did you get COVID after that? No, not at all. Oh, because I was delivering COVID too. I was sick as a dog. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. You got I no, Fallen, you got to break the news to him. I didn't the test for COVID, you know, but yeah. everyone else around me had it. I just assumed not to test because, <laughs> you know. And not to it. tell me. No, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know at the time. So oh, but I, okay. I just thought maybe, you know, maybe I got it from hey. uh, Chisel, who was on the, our hey. last episode. You know, he gave me hey, the Star Wars death curse. Do I got to break? Do I got to break the hard news to him, though? Yeah, you got you do. I'm now sorry. that you knew the high end figures, you already announced getting this Wolverine last week, so it doesn't count this week. So you're gonna have to get another high end figure. This <laughs> keep the Whoa. train flowing. Whoa, let me tell you guys something. So <laughs> with that, with that being said, he's about to learn. I'm already got an eye. I got a target. I got a target. I'm gonna get it too. I, I'm. I, I, I. The jar is empty now, but I'm gonna put a dub in it every week and. And uh, I want that fucking sideshow collectible king, dude. Wait, wait, king, storm king, collectible, king who? Storm collectible, oh, yeah. Storm Excuse collectible's me. king. Do you want like, the new uh, one, the red and black version? Yes. Yeah. So that's a, bucks, that's an exclusive. It's armor. Is that armor king? No, it's just the regular one with the cape. That's all you gotta do. But he's red and black. He's not blue. That high end addiction. And so the reason I brought that up is, I, I. I I only had the toy in my possession, the Wolverine, with for like 72 hours, bro. Yeah. And I was already going, oh, okay, this is uh, obtainable. Uh, I see cool. where this is at. But I'm dude, Tyler, I'm another one. So I'm, not, I'm not spending no money on check no McFarlane's, no shit, fucking Motus, nothing. My next every shit game. figure, every shit figure you pass on in the store. Just think that you can put that money towards yes. a Mezco. And I'm going to have it within a month, bro. Watch but look, yeah, man, exactly. if you get the, the blue and yellow king, which is probably cheaper, it could match your Wolverine, and that could be your thing. All your high-end figures have to be blue and gold, you know? <laughs> like you can... That would be dope. No, the don't do that. That's stupid. Sick, That's dumb. I know what he's going No, it's not, dumb. Like it's not dumb. It has a nice little theme to it. Unless but they're I, tag I just team. Like the, I, I just like the, that new one better, to be honest, the way it looks. Yeah. I, that, I, that's how I did it, man. Is I like the original. To, to but... Switch over to high end, dude. It's just every shit figure you pass, like. Oh, and I gotta just tell like you, every shit Motu figure that you bought, every shit Revelation yeah. figure, add them up. Like you could have had. I gotta tell you, man, it is a big difference. I mean, the head yeah. sculpts are amazing. Even the hands are dope. The changeability. I didn't have of to it. heat it up to to take yeah. the hands or head off. You know what I mean? The they play, come right off, they the come play up. aspect of it. You can do so much shit with it. You understand? Yeah, man. I'm now. doing a lot of pig talk with it already. Uh, if you guys noticed. Yeah. And you're getting a lot bigger, uh, better at your uh, fig talk, dude. You're, Thank you're, you. you're getting the angles, and yeah. you're you're also doing the uh, you know, like the Photoshop element of it. Or, you know, yeah, whatever. a little background. Yeah. yeah, and you're getting the angles better, like where the figure's not bigger than what you're doing. You, like you're getting more of the artistic feature of it, you know, and trying to do it right. Like you, I do. You know I, what it is? It's is he's finally learning how to enjoy his figs. That's what I was gonna say right You're now, dude. The more, that I'm, this, the more that I'm doing this, the more that I'm doing this, the more thought that goes into it. Yeah, it makes 
makes yeah. not only the figure special, but it makes the picture that I made like special. Like I'm actually feeling like I'm creating art. You are. Yeah. When you it came into Hoodcast, you came in reseller only. Reseller. Oh yeah. 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 Looking at everything, and I see you process when we're talking about shit on the show, and you're processing resale. But now, instead of just having that shit in a box, you're fucking enjoying it because yeah. that's what they're fucking for. They're plastic. Yeah. They're for you to enjoy. People that collect in box, nothing against you. That's cool. Yeah. But you're not really enjoying it. How are you going to enjoy your fucking hot toy when it's in a slip box and you can't even fucking see your fucking metal Iron Man or anything? Like, what here's, the fuck? Here's dude? what Why I like about it? this and what I like about Hoodcast. We kind of have like a different element here where we have Cobra, who was a reseller and everything, and didn't like he knows about comic books and all the figures and stuff like that, but he wasn't taking pictures. He wasn't so much collecting them but he was certain ones yeah. you know but and just getting into it and now dude he's growing he's taking pictures he's the metamorphosis next year he's yeah. going to be customizing shit and schooling other fucking people dude there you like, go yes sir yeah. so the university well, of Woodcast. like you got an it's expert definitely... like me you have like a, a <laughs> like a half pissy punk you know half ass dude like mike <laughs> 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 you can hit on pissy punk all you want, dude. My style is 100% unique to me. And it when is. you see one it's of my pictures, you. you know it's exactly mine. I know. Well, I, gotta, I, I can attest to this man's collection, for one. V-Town got a stash. I mean, I have to move one. Yes, and this motherfucker's got a stash, dude. He does, dude. Yeah. He collects like me, where we display here and there around our TV sets in our living room or whatever. And it's just yeah. random figures fucking everywhere. And then, and then we got to move one day, you know, and like all that yeah. shit. <laughs> and and then the same thing is like, I have so many figures and it's like, I'll, I'll fucking change out my displays. Like at times, like right now in my room, all I have on display is hot toys and Mezcos. Like, it's just, I'll, I'll swap out my, I got bored of these Mezcos. I do I'm that too. McFarl I'm going to put out my McFarlane's. And I'll be like, you. damn. And I'll start taking pictures of McFarlane's. You're like, if you see me taking pictures of McFarlane's, you know I'm playing with my McFarlane's again. You yeah. know? Just, right now, it sucks, man. I don't even do displays. It's just, I'm a tote guy. Everything goes in a fucking tote. <laughs> it sucks, dude. I hate being that collector, and I don't want to like, be that collector. So I'm going to sell a bunch of shit on fucking eBay and stuff. You know, like, I, I do, finally, but... re I, on my one display from my 112s, I have my trap house living room. I finally redid the Mikey, Mikey's Pizzeria Snuff Goratorium Arcade now, and it the Snuff Goratorium. Yeah, dude. Wait, which and really? Like, what did you pick up this it. week, dude? What did I pick up this week? I picked up comics, cards, and ninjas. Ninjas. Um, yeah, so I picked up two of the hand ninjas from the Marvel Legends just because I wanted to. Have a couple of red ninjas to go with my thing, and I don't want to pay resale on the Hasbro's. Did you get that at Ollie's? So you got them cheap. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Ollie's like eight bucks, not bad. Um, everything else I wanted beforehand was gone when they said their card machine was down. But <laughs> picked up those. I picked up uh, at the bookstore Second Charles. I was slipping through the comic book things, and I found first appearance of uh, Abyss. And then they have McFarlane figures there, and on the shelf. They had the fucking collector's edition McFarlane Abyss. Ah. So I figured that was a sign to buy the figure in the book. Might as so well. So I got that. And then uh, I ordered uh, the Curran Ray. Yeah. Fucking Cosmic Legion. I, I, need, to, so, I need to order that because once it's gone, it's gone. I, I know I'm the proud be owner of. I'm the proud owner of four Mythic Legions. And I just don't have them in hand. You don't because own they're one, all actually. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, I'm looking forward to those figures coming out because I'm just kind of bored with superhero figures. So, Here's I mean, the thing, though. Hopefully... Like, and you brought up Ollie's where, like, their card reader was down, so you couldn't buy anything. And here's what I don't understand about, yeah. like, I get it at La Polga, but at toy shows, dude, there's square readers, there's apps, there's all kinds of shit you can yeah. pay with. I don't carry cash, man. 
Dude, we yeah. live in this year. Like, come on. I don't have cash. Rob me. Take my shit. I'll just cancel it later. I don't fucking care. I don't even carry a wallet anymore. I got this shit on my phone where you just tap your phone to the reader. Yeah, and even when I sell at shows and shit, dude, I got a fucking Square app. I got Venmo. I got every fucking thing. Yeah. I have printouts so you can just scan it and pay me. Fuck you. Pay me. Dude, I was bummed, though, because they had Apocalypse, the, the Age of Apocalypse Apocalypse, and they had the whole wave for the Build of Colossus. And I had that shit in my cart the day they opened grand opening. I'm going up to the fucking counter all smiling and giddy and shit <laughs> like a fucking school kid. I even got the Joseph Magneto because I wanted the head for my burgundy Mezco Magneto. And the guy, the manager's like, oh, our card reader's down. I don't know when it's going to come back on. It went off twice today, and it doesn't seem like every, the whole system's froze. And I was so bummed. And he's like, oh, you could just leave this cart here. Came back the next day. None of that shit was there, dude. It was goddamn uh, the Mark. Black Duke from Doctor Strange, Translucent Strange, dude, all the, Chavez. All those Magnetos that were the Age of Apocalypse, like those are so easily customizable to be a normal Magneto. You just paint a little bit and you cut the fucking hair off. And dude, every one I customized, I sold for forty bucks really quick. I wanted, you know, and I bought I those figures for like six ninety nine, dude. I wanted the hair helmet though for my Mezco Magneto. Because the one that came with my Meg- Mezco one looks like Ian McKellen, and I'd much rather have the Joseph with the ponytail. <laughs> well, for, for my recent acquisitions, all I did, like, I did pick up something. I, it was almost nothing this whole fucking week because, you know, sickness, and I don't know if it was COVID or not, but COVID didn't get it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but <laughs> I did pick up, like, the peg warmer of the Legend series, WWE, The Undertaker, which that figure is dope, dude. The face sculpt is awesome. He's got the teardrop. The jacket is fine, I guess. It's detailed, you know, but his arms break through. So, you know, it's from when he wrestled Sid at WrestleMania fucking 13 or something like that. But it is a dope figure, and I know they've overproduced fucking Undertakers constantly, but they don't have this one yet. And I know, like, underneath the robe, like, it should have some paint apps. He's just black, and he's wearing his pirate gear, which that's one of my favorite Undertakers. Uh, unless you know a lot of people hate that undertaker but it's the lazy yeah. undertaker of the era but still i love it yeah. so yeah with that let's get into coming up with the gang the listener segment What they do worthwhile? According to come Star on, Wars man. groups, come on, um, man. no. Come on, man! 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 Come on, man. Don't fall asleep. Hey, uh, <laughs> if you want to come up with the gang, it's easy to use that hashtag with AF on all your action figure photography, and also. Go on Instagram and ask to join Hoodcast Chat. We have a lot of fun there. Also, go to Patreon. It's only $3. You get the bonus shows, the after shows, the Cobra stories. Like, the Co- Cobra's wife was on, like, a recent episode. We have uh, Tex AF, Horror Movie Deathmatch, and all kinds of shit podcasts. Like, all kinds of stuff up there. You also get this show a week early or up to a week early. So, get on there. You can also go to HoodcastAF.com. And on the right side of the screen... There's a voice message button, and you can press that and record something, and we're going to play it. So, without further ado, let's uh, see what voice messages we have. So, uh, I got one here from uh, John Connor. Is that yeah. my buddy, Eddie, Eddie Fur Dog? Hold on, let's hear from John Connor. Hey, brah. What's up, brah? Yeah. <laughs> Comos me estados, not as bad as and tostados. Oh, tostados to you this too. This is your boy here. But I got a real problem. You sound drunk. All those NECA figures Heroin. who never make one of me. They and did. I know you got Mr. McFarlane on your show. So, what's the deal? Oh, oh, I'm coming oh. for you. If you keep messing with me, man, I swear. McFarlane, you're going down. Come on, stars. Come on, stars, me and me go. All right. Thanks, fur dog. Look, 
Uh, he's so hot. That motherfucker, that fucking heroin motherfucking cocksucking motherfucker. You want to call me? I did make a motherfucking John Connor when I did Terminator 2 Judgment Day figures, you stupid. No, McFarlane, you, you did not make an Edward Furlong. Uh, NECA did. That's it. I, wait, wait. No, I fucking and, did. And I threw it in the goddamn garbage with my old man in his jars. He's a horse Hold on a second. Heroin. There was other Edward Furlong figures, like when they first made the T2 line. Uh, yeah. I don't know what company did that. Was it Toy Biz or something? One of those old school companies, you know, that made like the kind of five and a half inch figures or whatever, five inch figures and yeah, that was loosely like a, articulated. I want to say it's Playmates because I know NECA, Playmates, made, maybe. NECA made fucking uh, figures in spirit of those with the kind of carding and shit. But, uh, all right, the fur dog. Uh, we got another call. It doesn't say who it's from, so we'll just uh, play it. Mama, Hoodcast AF. A show about a bunch of people playing with their selves. Action figures. <laughs> but it didn't start that way. Is this Shawshank? Kane from <laughs> Slime Rack Radio. Which eventually became the best podcast ever. The Knife Party. Mm. My friend. Jonathan Fallon. Andy Dufresne. Crawled through a river of shit and come out <laughs> clean the other end. <laughs> Till he found Daddy Cobra. And of course, the dirtiest player in the game. <laughs> Mike Lynch. <laughs> I remember Mike Lynch. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing after that. <laughs> He's just a piece of human garbage. <laughs> Whoa, my Shit. friend. Damn, <laughs> my friend. Um, who's that? Uh, that's um, what's that actor? That's Morgan Freeman. Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> no, that was that was that was <laughs> poor man <laughs> vegan. <laughs> Morgan Vegan? <laughs> Poor Man Vegan. Poor Man Vegan. All right. Like, it, it's fucking... My friend. All right. Is every one of these messages going to be BCZ? Uh, oh, I get it. Slime Rick gets no listens. Uh, but you can find that over on our Patreon for just $3 a month. Uh, we do have a uh, call from uh, Calvin. I'm not sure who Calvin is. He might be a first-time caller. Um, let's hear from Calvin. Ah, uh, hello, yeah. Um, my name is Calvin. Um, yeah. Hey, Calvin. Uh, I'm calling because uh, I'm a real big fan of the Unworthy Collector and Toy Addict 17. Yeah, great show. Oh, great show. boy, those guys. Oh, they really <laughs> do something for me uh and i just gotta say that i am looking into being the first m male to have a child and, and i want the father of that child birthing person to okay. be toy addict 17 that oh he's sexy he's a sexy guy and i know that you guys know those guys and um sure. yeah i was I wondering up, if um maybe Someone could put in a good word for Calvin and, and and see if maybe I could make that happen. Absolutely. Because the stalking is, it's really good right now. Oh, right now, but like it, it's getting a little played out. And I, I really need some one-on-one -on -one time. Yeah. So thanks a lot, fellas. My name is Calvin again, and I'll, I'll be looking out for for you, Calvin. Bye bye. I will hook you up with the uh, Unworthy Addiction Show, 17. which is on uh, YouTube Thursday nights. I will hook you up with them, but just make sure you bring all your shoes and glasses so you have them. Um, it, it just works out that way. So. Um, with that, Calvin, thanks for calling. Uh, we always welcome new callers. <laughs> we have a uh, another call. It uh, doesn't say who it's from, so... We all know no, we don't need... you have a current problem out there. The Batman. We also know oh, Heath that Joker. he likes butt stuff. 
Yes. Let me show you a magic trick. <laughs> Not a butt this is magic. a butt plug. <laughs> I'm going to make it disappear. Oh no, don't do it. So, I'm talking about total chaos. Total butt stuff. Butt stuff chaos? Gotham will not have any children because butt stuff is going to be rampant. No, I've heard of butt babies. <laughs> butt babies, dude. <laughs> no! This is why stop it. you should stop listening to this. Stop it! And start listening to the Knife Party Podcast where butt stuff actually <laughs> means something. I don't know if it's his Heath Ledger smacking or he's inserting the butt plug and making it disappear. I'm not you sure. Know, you know exactly who it is and you know it's a plug. Absolutely. It's yeah. a goddamn plunger plug. <laughs> It's a goddamn Kong. You know that chew toy you give animals, the big fucking honeycomb thing, the oh, Kong? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's hard, though. And it's inserted with an osteopositor. Mm. Just, that's the kind of what <laughs> he does. And he has that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steam Power Mom, he's definitely not asleep, but he's having a panic attack. <laughs> he's hearing yeah. the butt stuff going with the... He's like, I can't handle all this butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got another call. Like, hey, fellas, I got a show to do. <laughs> we got another call. I'll play it. And uh, yeah, I hope it's not the fur dog or fur dog esque. We'll see. Hey, everybody, you listening to me, Dave? No, not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He is lonely. Hey, okay, not everybody, doing it. please. That was a go couple of wine bottles deep, bro. Water. Go and give some empathetic uh, listens to the, the, the Knife Party podcast <laughs> and Slime Wreck Radio. <laughs> um, look, I got right. somebody hey, calls you know a cycle what, through. You know what, B Town? Now what? I know how you feel. Now I yeah. know what you were saying about calling in yeah. to your own fucking show. Now he's calling in because he's on another show that nobody fucking listens to. No, actually, he's got he's got a good group of listeners, and it, that is oh, the knife his party. wife. No, dude, <laughs> it's the Knife Party podcast. I've listened to a bunch of their episodes. I've also been on a bunch of their episodes, and it's all about movies and sci-fi movies and stuff. It's actually pretty good. Like, it's pretty. We're decent. actually we actually plan an episode soon. We need to make it happen, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're gonna watch Shogun Asha- Assassin with the. Uh, Mr. Z. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to butt stuff you. He's, he's going to go all in your butt stuff, Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to he's gonna mega cream you like an Oreo. Uh, don't forget that Friday Nights is the Highly Posable podcast, which is on YouTube. Isn't that right, Steam Power Room? Yes, sir. And you guys, you guys cover everything. But you guys have long form, and you talk about like more like in depth than we do. We're kind of like the the not, I don't want to say higher level. We're like kind of like surface level fucking bullshit. Where you guys we're the least informative, informed podcast. Yeah, you guys are. Yeah, really yeah. The other, the other guys on the show on the highly po- uh, highly posable podcast are like way more into the, like more toys. Like I don't collect Ninja Turtles. So I don't collect none of that shit. They collect a lot of a lot more stuff than I do. Yeah, you guys, you guys are way more informative. On this podcast, you you learn a lot about nothing. <laughs> I got a homie on the show though. He's like, I bought a robot. I don't know. I just <laughs> like robots. <laughs> I don't really know what the fuck he is. <laughs> robot is on Amazon. Biggin. You can't not talk like that. You're just a boy. <laughs> You're just yeah. a boy. Well, we've been huge friends with Highly Posable. You guys really should check them out. Man. Dude, from day one, we have been. Yeah, Biolab. Yeah. Yo, shout out. Huge shout out to Biolabs. He actually was one of the gentlemen who donated to me getting the Wolverine. Absolutely, dude. There you go. Yep. Yeah. And now, the next high-end figure Cobra is going to talk about is that Storm Collectibles King. King. Yes. And <laughs> Unbox. And hey, yo, bro. I some real shit. I, What's the goal? I, unboxing weeks. videos is what what you need. What, comic book videos are fun, but unboxing videos get your views. Right? <laughs> okay, people like people dude, watching people unboxing was so 2010. Where the fuck are you, dude? Like, <laughs> I'm on the <laughs> weekly <laughs> habit, baby. <laughs> 
Good comeback, <laughs> dude. Your mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's there too sometimes. But shit, Whoa. with that, we don't say goodbye. Sometimes she's on a videotape that has music videos and wrestling. Hey, we know about videotapes and moms, dude. <laughs> we say. Yeah. We say good journey. Good. We journey. say good journey, yes. Yeah. You say he's from Canada? Yeah, he's from Canada singing American propaganda music. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> oh, is, is this that white dude? Yeah. Macklemore. I'm from Canada. I have maple leaves. I see flags. Tom McDonald. You got the brains in here, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tom McDonald. Yeah. yeah. This is really goodbye, huh? Hey, man. Do you love me? arms. Don't. Don't say goodbye. Say good journey. There's an old attorney saying, live the journey. For every destiny is but a doorway to another. Thank <laughs> you.